we have a triangle ABC. Let's draw the circumcircle of this triangle. That is the circle passing through A, B and C. We will draw the angle bisector of angle A, angle B and angle C. Suppose the angle bisectors meet the circle at the point A1, B1 and C1. So in this process we get a new triangle and that triangle is A1, B1, C1. Now let's repeat the process. That is we will draw an angle bisector of the angle B1, the angle bisector of the angle A1, angle bisector of the angle C1. Suppose they meet the circle at A2, B2 and C2 respectively. Now we have a third triangle. This triangle is A2, B2, C2. Suppose we know that the smallest angle of ABC is 40 degrees then what would be the smallest angle of this new triangle A2, B2, C2? That's the question. We will estimate the value of the angle B1. Now to do that, let's notice that angle B B1, C1, this angle is same as angle B, C, C1 because both of them will be equal to C by 2, the angle value of the angle C divided by 2. Why is that? C, C1 is the angle bisector of angle C. So, B, C, C1 is C by 2 and both of these angles are subtended by this green arc B, C1. So angles subtended by the same arc are equal. We know that from a standard theorem in geometry. Similarly, Let's look at the arc BA1. We can say that the two red angles are equal to A by 2. Of course, BAA1 is equal to A by 2 because, well, A1 is the angle bisector of angle A. And both of them are subtended by the same arc BA1, the red arc. So we get the 
angle at B1 as A by 2 plus C by 2. So we learnt that angle B1 is equal to C over 2 plus A over 2. Now we will do a trick. It's a very standard trick in angle manipulation of a triangle. We will be adding B by 2 and subtracting B by 2. Now notice that since ABC are the angles of a triangle, therefore A plus B plus C is 180. So A plus B plus C by 2 is 90. So this becomes 90 minus angle B over 2. That is the value of this particular angle. 90 minus B by 2. Okay, so if you do the third step, that is join A2, B2 and C2, That is, do the second layer of this process. Do A2, B2 and C2. Then, the angle at B2 would be 90 minus this angle by 2. Just like angle B1 was 90 minus angle B by 2. Right? So, angle B2 would be 90 minus this entire thing. So, 90 minus 90 minus angle B by 2 divided by 2. So, let's simplify this. This becomes 180 degree minus 90 plus angle B by 2 divided by 2 which becomes 45 degree plus angle B by 2. So if angle B was the smallest angle, which is given to be 40 degree, then the corresponding angle B by 2 becomes 55 degree, right? Because this is equals to 45 plus 40 by 4. That's the formula we got. The only question is, will angle B by 2 be the smallest angle of this triangle? Will angle B by 2 be the smallest angle of this triangle? In the triangle A2, B2, C2, angle A2 is 45 plus A over 4. Angle B2 is 45 plus B over 4. Angle C2 is 45 plus C over 4. We can deduce this by the same argument that you used just for B2. So we are comparing the angles between triangle ABC and triangle A2B2C2. Now it's almost done. If we know that angle B is smallest in triangle ABC, can you deduce? Can you deduce that angle B2 is smallest in triangle A2B2C2? just a one line argument. Can you show using this three equations that angle B2 would be the smallest angle among these three if angle B is the smallest angle among these three? Put a comment in the description with your argument and uh, keep on doing great mathematics. The link in the description will take you to more beautiful problems and resources 
I will see you in the next video. Bye.